Hey y'all, welcome back to Fly to 50, no spaces. I'm your Fly Dog D and I'm back with another video. All right, y'all, I just decided to go ahead and get this done, use doing it all at once because I got a lot of stuff going on this week and I am going to film a what's in my makeup bag because I'm going to be traveling. So let's just go ahead and do this. Hopefully you can see everything. I'm just going to show you what I'll be using for the month of October, which is also my birthday month. Okay, so let's go. We're going to start with foundations. The first foundation I'll be using is this one, this very Valentino one. I have this shade DN2. I'll be also, I will also be using the Dior. This is their old version. And 5W. Yeah, 5W. I'm going to also be using Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. And I have this in 135 Chestnut. It does have SPF in it. The next one I'll be using is the L'Oreal True Match in new, Neutral 9 in 9. And the last foundation I'll be using this month is the NYX Born to Glow. I have this in shade uh, Warm Mahogany. Okay, now on to concealers. I do have a few concealers. This is the uh, Valentino one in DN1. I have the Dior concealer in 5W. I have two from Neutrogena. Chai. The deeper one is Chai and this one is Golden. I'll also be using the Kevin Aquan in uh, Deep EC08. I'll be using this one as like a corrector. I'll also be using this Milk one in uh, 18W. I got it kind of light, so I'll be mixing this in with other concealers. I also have this NYX HD one in CW08. And the last one I have is from Essence. This is from Essence. It is, I can't, I don't see the shade. This is the one from Essence. Oh, here we go. This is from Essence. This is Dark Mocha. And I'll be using this one as well. Moving on, let's next. Moving on, the next thing I'll be showing you are my primers. I'll be using uh, Natasha Den Natasha Denona Hygiene Skin Glass. I'll also be using this Glowish Blur Jam. This is a Glowish Blur Jam. I'll be using this. I will also be using a Danessa Myricks. Universal Yummy Skin Balm. That's the one that's clear. Another primer I'll be using is the Vanish by Hourglass. Cover Effects, their Gripping Primer. And the last one would be the Milani Dewy Primer. Supercharged Duty Primer. Okay, moving on, on along, I'll be using powders. I have the Charlotte Tilbury powders in three and four. Three is the dark one, which is, which I'll be using under my eyes. I broke it, but I kind of put it back together. And then four will also be under my eyes or on my face, whatever I want to do with it. I'll also be using this e.l.f. Halo Glow, and this is in um, dark. It is a illuminating powder, so this is only going to go on my high points. And I'll be using L'Oreal Hydro Pierce Translucent Powder. All right, as enhancers for my foundation, um, before I put on my foundation, I will also be using this Veeve Skin Do. It's a multi a multitasker so I'll be putting this on my high points of my face before putting on my foundation and the same goes for these two this is 
the e.l.f. Halo Glow and the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'll be mixing these together because this is too light, but this is a little dark. So I'll be mixing these together and putting on my face or mixing with my foundation. All right, I also have... Oop, oop. I also have these two minis from uh, Becca from Days Gone By. They still have these, I believe, but it's on the Smashbox. This is Opal, and this is uh, Rose Gold. Okay, these are Shimmering Skin Perfectors Pressed. I mean, that's Opal. And this is Rose Gold. All right, time. Moving on along, we're going to be looking at blushes. For blushes, I'll be using this Milani blush in uh, Peach On Me. It's a shimmering blush, very pretty. I'll also be using this Ombre blush from NYX. I had this a long time. This is new to me. I'll also be using this Sephora blush in Hot Flush, a beautiful, like, orangey burnt orange color. Then I have a few from NARS. This one is Torrid. This one is Taj Mahal, another beautiful orange. And the last one is Matahari, a cool tone like pink. Okay, so those are the blushes I'll be using. All right, the next thing are just some bronzers slash contours. This first one is Morphe in Leader. Haven't used this in a while. Let's see if I still like it. If not, I'm going to get rid of it. And the same goes with this Black Radiance True Complexion. This is the uh, Dark to Deep. So it has the contour, the bronzer, and the highlighter in there. All right, I got one more thing before we get to palettes. It's my perfumes I'm going to be using. These are the perfumes I have to use this month. Of course, I'll be using other ones, but I'm just testing these out, see if I like them. And, I mean, I do like their scents. See how long they last and all that. So, I have Sweet Addict and Floor Marshmallow, which are dupes for um, Killian's Don't Be Shy. Then I have the some Pacifica perfumes. This is Flower Moon, Silver Moon, and Dream Moon. Flower Moon is a, this is a floral, amber floral. Silver Moon is an amber vanilla. And Dream Moon is a floral woody musk. All right, so I'll be using them. Now we're ready to get to the palettes. First over here, the palettes I'm gonna be using, of course, is my DreamWorks palette. I use this on, on my eye, my face, my eyebrows. I already showed y'all that, so you already know what that looks like. I got two pastel palettes I'm gonna be using to enhance the other eyeshadows I have. This is B Bella Cosmetics Life in Pastel and Black. Life in Pastel. These are some creamy, creamy mattes and shimmers. Only thing I don't like is this uh, glitter right there. But this is a, I really like this palette. So I'm going to get some use of it, out of it. And the next one is the Garden of Juvia's. So I want to get some use out of this one as well. So these are accent palettes for the month. And I just leave them out with my groundworks and grab them whenever I want to. Another thing I'll be using is the Danessa Myricks Highlighter Palette. This palette is so smooth, so creamy, so lip, gives you a wonderful lip from within glow. So I'm gonna leave this out to use this whenever I feel the urge. Okay, now let's get to the actual palettes. And the eyeshadow. These are the eyeshadows I will be using for this month. This first one, oh, 
And if I don't get to them all, I just don't get to them all. For, for September, I used all the ones I had. But I have some traveling this month. So this these all probably won't get used. And if they don't and I feel like I want it, I'll roll it over to November or just have a new set. Who knows? So this first one is Essence by Essence. It's called Bronze This Way. Nice little six pan. I think this only costs like four bucks. Okay. I will also be using this Rowan palette. This is, these are three creams and a shimmer. Next one I'll be using is from Pix, is from It's Bell Cosmetics. This is their newest release. It's a pressed pigment palette. It's called Pixie Grove. I've not seen hardly anyone talking about this, but I thought it was beautiful. And so I got it. Next up we have Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe. I realized I put this up and never used it. So this month is the day. This month is the day. You know, I will be using this this month. It has these nice, beautiful jewel tones, and I like the way it's arranged. If you don't know what to do, myself, I can just go up and down. Okay, well, let me I'll keep this to cover it all. Okay, from ColourPop, I have their one of their newer. Okay, this don't have a mirror. One of their newer palettes is called Rock On. Very pretty. I'm also going to be using the Tarte in Bloom had this while I have not pulled it out but there was a time I loved this palette Let's cut this up. and it's a nice like neutral cool tony palette moving on along I got a two Natasha Denona palettes this first one is their retro palette Okay, that's what that one looks like. These are some nice fall, nice eyeshadow palettes for fall. I have fall in mind. The next one is her Metropolis palette, which is one of my favorites. I just love these colors and I love the, the textures and the different formulas for the palette. Very pretty. Moving on, I got a couple of more from Juvia's Place. This one is her Nubian Earth. It's a nice neutral palette with pops of gold, which I love gold on my eyes. I love golden, yellow gold, period. This next one is the Warriors palette. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One of my favorite palettes from them. Okay, moving on. Oh, crap. Sorry about that. The next palette is the It's a Mood palette from ColourPop. Okay. Very pretty. All right. Moving. Keep on going. This is a by Terry palette called, what's this called? Bonjour Paris. And these are some nice tones that, and nice formula that looks good on mature lids. It's very pretty. All right, don't go. The next one, I have another one from ColourPop. This is Wine Only. And only beautiful, rich burgundies. Ugh, beautiful. Next up, I have one of the BH Cosmetics palettes from when before they closed down and got reopened by by uh whoever. So this is one of their old ones before they closed down. It's let that bleep go. I cover all the curse words. So look at this. This is, oh, look at these greens. Oh, can't wait to use this. So pretty. 
Oh, Lord. This next palette is from Uma Beauty. It is called... What is this called? It's the Black Magic. This is Black Magic palette. I guess. I thought this had a different name. There's what that looks like. Nice staple neutral matte neutral mattes with some blingy shimmers in here very nice and these shimmers are really good all right now this this big this big wallop this is the uh, rich palette from beauty bay that i could not i could not i could not let this pass me by you know they have the three sizes this is the largest size and although I have a hard time deciding what shimmers to use, I had to have this because I did not want to miss out on any of these shimmers. So pretty. I can put that back in there. All right, next up we have the from Urban Decay Naked Heat. I haven't used this mug in a while. Naked Heat. All right, I will, I will be using two motherships. This is mothership three. Very nice. And also mothership five. All right, almost done, two more palettes. Uh, this is a, not a box of chocolate by ColourPop. Something haven't used this yet, but isn't that beautiful? And the last palette I'll be using is from Luna Beauty. They said 12 Days of Luna. This was their Christmas release or winter release, whatever they want to call it. Oh, here we go. 12 Days of Lunar. You know, I love Luna Beauty's formula. So, yep, yeah, that's what I'll be using this month. All right, y'all, that's all for my Shop My Stash for the month of October. Thank you so much for watching. I'll do one more Shop My Stash video, which will be for my makeup bag. So I hope you stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another video.